Hi, I'd like to add my two cents to the discussion about sexual assault and the Me Too campaign. In my humble opinion, sexual assault is when someone violently subdues someone else and forces that someone else to engage in sexual activity or tries to force that person to engage in sexual activity. Other sexual offenses could be exposing yourself to an unwilling participant, um, using sex or attempting to use sex to further someone's career and holding that upward movement uh, at bay uh, for the price of a sexual favor or interaction, but otherwise. Uh, what Louis C.K. admitted to doing, for example, this is something that is in more of a gray area. I don't advocate this kind of conduct. I don't partake of it. I don't know people who partake of it, and so I'm not defending it. Personally, I think it is most regrettable. I come very close to the limit of shying away from condemning this behavior because I think in every case it involves mental issues and I don't blame people for mental issues. I hope that they get help and I hope that the victims find solace and peace and can move on with their lives. But what I am trying to say is it is quite clear that we have gone off the rails with this issue and that's obviously because we live in a culture where political correctness has brought us to a level of unreason, to a level of insanity. People are losing their careers because they've been accused. Without proof, people are being condemned. This is worse than sexual assault. Because as I said, in my opinion, sexual assault involves mental issues and emotional issues. The conscious destruction of another person's life because that person has been accused of something for which that person hasn't been found guilty or culpable is deplorable and it is morally indefensible. I don't know the name of the person. I know very few of celebrities' names who haven't been in the public eye for the last 20 years. So I don't know a lot of the, the new people or people who would be new to me. But I was just listening to the BBC and I was listening to some young people talking about how they could no longer listen to the music of so, so-and-so because so-and-so was accused of uh, sexually assaulting a man. Look, people touch me and I don't want them to touch me. But because I'm well-adjusted myself and I'm a loving, forgiving human being, I let them touch me. I have co-workers who rub my arm like this. They're the same sex. They rub my back. They call me honey. Because I'm a man, it doesn't bother me. Because I'm an adult, it doesn't bother me. At first, it bothered me because it took me by surprise. And I warned some of these people not to do that because I'm not gay and I don't cotton to that. But once I realized that this was their way of expressing affection, I let it go. Of course, I'm not going to let somebody grab my private parts, okay? But people who have been exposed to other people doing sexual things, they can turn and walk away. They're not victims unless they're forced to participate. And I'm saying this to you, Americans, who think that every little thing that you don't like is an offense. You're being ridiculous and morally indefensible.